morning folks beautiful day today isn't it although quite cold last week 14 degrees plus today minus two but is there anything better than cold clear fresh air Now, many people in my social environment, when I ask them, like, well, I want to go on a hike on weekend, would you like to join me? Yeah, no, oh no, it's weekend, I want to sleep a little longer, it was a hard week, and then I don't have the power to go outside, I want to do that thing. Let me tell you one thing. Doesn't work like that for me either. Now when I go on a hike, I get up at six, quick shower, coffee, croissant, dress up, and at around seven, I leave the house. Now, if I would sleep until, let's say, eight o'clock, get up, have a good breakfast, sit on my sofa in my warm living room. I wouldn't go outside. No way. It's the same on the Camino, you know. Get up at six, dress up. If you're lucky, you'll have a breakfast. Many times you don't. And then you start walking. You know, you, you must not let your, let's say, inner beast have the time to think. Stop thinking. Get up, dress up, get out. That's the way it works. Now last week I told you about the reasons or excuses to not walk the Camino. And of course there are pros. And that's the topic of today's video. And the pros, in my opinion, outweigh the cons by a lot. You know, because there's a reason I want to do it for the sixth time. Sixth, sixth, the sixth time, sixth. What kind of language is that? What's wrong with you? I almost spit myself. In my opinion, and as everything is my opinion, walking the Camino de Santiago is the most relaxing vacation you can get. Even maybe if your buddy doesn't like that, especially the first 10 days. But you will heal your mind. Your body will heal itself after some days when it's normal. But If you have a, nah, not a sick mind, that sounds a little negative. If you don't feel good mind-wise, your mind will get healed. And your soul. Why is that? It's because on the Camino, you got nothing to do but walk, eat, sleep, repeat. Nothing else matters. You don't watch TV, you don't watch the news, and the longer you walk, the less you take your mobile phone. And yeah, except you're a crazy guy like me who wants to upload the video every day. But pff, that's an exemption. You got nothing to do. You empty your mind of all the negativity. It's like, yeah, cleaning your internal hard drive of bloatware, malware, and viruses. For, let's say, introvert people, like I am, walking the Camino is a bliss. 
I once read an article or a thread in a Camino forum where somebody asked, oh, 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 would somebody walk together with me? I'm afraid walking alone. I'm afraid of dealing with people, going to a restaurant on my own, stuff like that. And one guy answered, don't worry, don't be afraid. After walking the Camino, you go everywhere alone. You're not afraid of anything anymore. And it's true. You know, when you walk the Camino, you're hungry. You go inside the bar. <laughs> you're tired, you go to albergue. You have no other chance. You're forced to do things on your own. And by forcing you, you learn. And you'll find out it's not a big deal. Now, if we're honest, or like we in German say, hand to the heart, I don't know if that exists in English. Anyway, everybody deals with some, let's say, unsolved issues, problems that we don't want to talk about or that we don't want to think about. And we spend our leisure time by distracting us. You know, we schedule all of our leisure time by, let's say, walking to the gym, walking to the gym, going to the gym, uh, meeting friends, going to the movies, playing at the computer. There's always something to do, you know? Stop working and then you do some things. Work out, club, bar, da. There's always something to do. And we are never on our own. Now on the Camino, you're for a long period of time on your own. And once you're on your own and you've got nothing to do, you start thinking. And all of those unsolved issues and problems come to the surface. And you have to deal with them. It's not very nice. But on the other hand, it's kind of a, you know, catharsis. It's a cleansing of your soul. And yeah, German, German author Harpe Kerkeling, Harpe Kerkeling from the film Ich bin da mal weg wrote in his book on the Camino. One day everybody starts crying. And that's true. Remember my words. Now when you walk the Camino, every day, let's say, 20, 25, 30k, or two, three, four, or even more weeks, it's, uh, you, get, you gain an enormous fatness. It's something different as if you, let's say, two or three times a week go to the gym or go jogging something completely different and yeah by the way somebody calculated that if you carry a backpack 10 kilograms walk 30k at an average of five kilometers per hour you burn around 3,000 kilometer uh, kilocalories kilometers no you know what I mean 3,000 just by walking on top of the normal two or two and a half that that you consume for for, for just existing. So if you're a little overweight, perfect chance to lose some weight. And fitness-wise, 
Boah. You get legs like a soccer player and you can crack co coconuts with your butt cheeks. That's amazing. <laughs> Walking the Camino, you make the acquaintance of hundreds of interesting, awesome people from all over the world. And let's say all over the world, like USA, Australia, South Korea, New Zealand. Yeah, that's quite normal. But also people from Brazil. Peru, Namibia, South Africa, Russia. That's amazing. You learn so much about different cultures. You, you, you gain a better understanding for different cultures. And yeah, in my opinion, walking the Camino for about four weeks, you learn more than going to school for 10 years. On the Camino, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, how much money you make if you're a manager, a uh, consultant, homeless, nobody cares. On the Camino, you're a pilgrim. And, yeah, we had uh, once sitting in the garden of an albergue and there was a guy sitting at the other table and we introduced ourselves like, I am Mike from Germany, Morgan, Marco from Italy. Sara from Italy, what's your name? Where are you from? And he said, you can call me Frank. And I asked, was well, Frank your name? And he said, no, but does it matter? He said, on the Camino, doesn't matter where you're from, what's your name, what you're doing. We're all the same. We're all walking to Santiago de Compostela. We all have the same problems. Sore muscles, blisters. All we want to do is get to our next destination, have something to eat and a bed. That's all. We're all the same. Impressed me very much and yeah, it's true. And funny thing, later when we sat for dinner, he asked me, tell me, do we know each other? And I said, it's crazy. I have the same feeling about you. And yeah, we talked a little and we never found out, but we both Got the strong feeling that we know each other. It's funny. And yeah, don't get me wrong, especially people from USA, at least in the first days of walking Camino. American people, some kind of, you know, loud, superficial, and when you're sitting with American people at a table, it's always like, oh, what's your name, where you're from, what you do for a living, how much money do you make, how much people do you lead, and oh, oh that's interesting, that's so amazing. And I was just in Albergi, not just, I was once in an Albergi, and we sat for dinner, and was the same. I said there was seven ladies from, from the US, 
I was the only male, only German. And yeah, she asked me now, what you do, what you do, what you are from, and I said, I'm Mike, I'm a doctor for drug addicts. It doesn't matter, it was a lie, but anyway, I don't care what you're doing. I don't care how much money you make or what kind of position you have or whatever. I don't care. All I care is about what, what's in your head, what's in your soul, what kind of human being you are. I don't care for the money or your status. What do you think? <laughs> Nobody talked to me anymore this night. It was funny. The people, the local people, who are living along the Camino, let's say are living the Camino. Yeah, of course, it's <laughs> the only way to make money for them, but I don't think that's the reason. Spanish people are strictly Catholic and walking a Camino as a pilgrim is a Catholic thing and yeah let's say when you got in contact with local people even if it's in restaurant or bath and you don't behave like a complete moron you're treated, yeah, almost like a saint. And that's so amazing, such hospitality, friendliness. And they give you everything you want. And yeah, it's like their duty to support the pilgrims who want to walk to Santiago. It's amazing. Even if in real life you feel like a piece of shit, walking the Camino, you feel like a prince or a princess. It's amazing. I love that. And you don't get the feeling that they act like this just because of money, because you spend some euros there. No. You, you, honestly get the feeling that it's from the heart. It's amazing, like if you're part of the family. Now when you walk the Camino de Santiago for, let's say, I don't know, three or four weeks, and you arrive at Santiago, you're not the same anymore. Because you learned a lot of things. You learned that people taking life too serious, people taking themselves too serious, and there's not much left important but you. You are the most important thing, the most important person in your universe. And you found out that, yeah, you don't need any drama anymore. You, you're not willing to deal with bullshit anymore. And you found out that you don't need many things to be happy. Yeah. And that's, you know, when I arrived back home from my first Camino, I cut or I cleaned my friends list. Because many friends that I've been with, I found out I've been only with them because I wanted to be part of the bubble. Don't need that anymore. Like one guy once said, 
Before, when I enter the room, I ask myself, will they like me? Now when you enter the room, you ask yourself, will I like them? And if you don't like them, or if you don't like something, you just walk away and it's fine. Because it's important that you feel good. And only you. And people say, after the Camino is before the Camino. You know, when you arrive at Santiago, the real Camino begins. And that's your task, to take your new gained knowledge, your new wisdom into your real life. And show the people that life can be easy, that life can be wealth living in a different way. Oh, that's romantic, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Well, that's saying, so far from today. See you, I think, next week. So far. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. Juan Camino.